Hi and welcome to another gaming video uh, and today it's a little something special to me uh, I am very excited about this video uh, because I have finally got my hands on an original Nintendo DS I am holding a piece of gaming history in my hand here this is the pink version which is also the colour I was looking for uh, it's got it's pink with uh, white buttons and I have been looking for one for quite some time. They'll be 18 this year and they weren't the highest of build qualities. If you look around you'll see that a lot of them have damaged hinges because they seem to have just taken the hinge off of the Game Boy Advance SP and put it on here and it the screen is a lot wider. But this little piece here uh, part of the hinge always seems to break so if you're looking around you're going to see lots and lots with broken hinges I bought one not because I want to use it as a, a console to play but I wanted one in fairly good condition now as you can see this one's got some some scuffs and some scrapes I don't know if you can pick them up on camera but there's some uh, scratches on the lid there other than that it's pretty okay apart from a, a rather glaring chunk of plastic missing out of the Game Boy Advance slot but it works perfectly uh, the hinge is absolutely as rock solid as you can get it still clicks into place the touch screens all work fine sound works fine all the buttons I've checked that all out this morning it's just an absolutely gorgeous console um, very much overshadowed by the DS Lite which is a fantastic console and it overcame a lot of the problems that you had with the original DS uh, obviously they had a redesign but they also sort of overcome the, the horrible breaking hinge problem that you have on these uh, but this is absolutely superb I'm so excited it's probably one of the most anticipated consoles that I've waited to, for to arrive because I ordered it online in a very very long time and from someone that's got multiple DS consoles different versions it might seem a bit odd but I just want to own an original DS uh, a, a DS that started the whole well, my entire passion for the DS range. I've got a huge selection of DS's and I just wanted to add this original model into my collection. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. I love the, the white buttons on it. It really just gives it a little bit of an edge. I've been having a sort of bit of play around with it this morning and it's fantastic. It's, apart from the hinge, it's got the usual Nintendo awesome build quality. I mean, at 18 years old, this is still playing fantastic, the buttons are still awesome, the screens still work and as you can tell I'm a little bit excited and apart from the cosmetic damage which part of me as I'm glad that I've bought it I like to rescue tech that people either put in the bin or push aside there aren't going to be that many people that wants to uh, a console with a huge great chunk taken out of it and I've noticed here there's a bit of a crack in the plastic there so this is going to sit on my shelf as a reminder of what a fantastic little thing that started the whole DS 20 years of superb little handheld gaming consoles. I've, I've had a bit of a play with one about 15 years ago but not much since. I've said in previous videos that I thought it was a bit ugly but it, it's got that proper fits in your hand curve to it. As you can see the top of it has got that sort of uh, sloped wedge and even when you open it the bottom piece here really kind of fits in your hand nicely it's got that nice sort of chunk and wow as much as I love the DS Lite found it a little bit square and this one just has a bit more of a playability feel to it the buttons are awesome they're a little shallow compared to uh, the DS Lite I think they raised those and the d-pad and the button placement I think is actually better on here You've got a power button there rather than on the side and you start and select her up there out of the way rather than sort of down here getting in the way there isn't a huge difference other than redesign between the original DS and the DS Lite obviously you've got better hinges on the DS Lite I think it's got a better battery and you've got varying screen brightnesses this one just has kind of on and off in terms of screen brightness but there you go this is the original DS and I am so pleased to have finally picked one up and just absolutely in awe at this tiny little console from 2004 67 megahertz machine with 4 meg of system ram that really pales into significance into today's 
beasts, but I still play them. I still play my DS Lite, my 3DS, DSi that I picked up recently as well, and my favourite all-in-one console is my new 2DS XL. But it's just nice to have the one that started it all, uh, an original version of the Nintendo DS. So let me know what you think. I'm not going to review it because it's 18 years old, everybody knows about DS's. I just wanted to show off this gorgeous pink original DS that's now been added to my collection. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.